Hello, everyone. Welcome to KubeCon and Cloud Native Con Europe 2022. Uh, this is Klaus. I'm the founder of Volcano and Kubebatch. And I used to be the co leader of SIG scheduling and techno lead of CNCF Tag Runtime. Volcano is a cloud native uh, batch system for intelligent workloads such as uh, HPC, AI, and big data. It was uh, pr promoted to CNCF incubating project early of this year. So it's my pleasure to give an uh, introduction and a deep dive on this project. Here is the background on why we would like to have Volcano project. At the beginning, we built a batch system for traditional HPC workload. And then we have big data platform to handle data. And after that, we leverage cloud native technical for AI platform. But the problem is that this pro this, uh, all these pro uh, platform are using different technical stack, building different uh, ecosystem. Uh, this will make it hard to share results between the different workload. The resource utilization is, uh, is, uh, is really low. So more and more organizations uh, are leveraging cloud native technical to build a unified platform for all workloads. But uh, there's still some gap in the cloud native ecosystem. So we built a cool batch at 2017 to handle scheduling gap. And then we build the volcano based on the cool batch to handle all the other related gaps. Here is the major gaps in the cloud native ecosystem for batch workload. The first one is the job management. Uh, it's a common requirement to have different pod template and the fine grain life cycle management in a job. It's uh, complex and hard to maintain to build, CR, to build CRD for different type of job. The second gap is about the scheduling, such as the priority, fine grain, gun, capability, reservation and backfill and so on. The third gap is to support a different workload in a common job CRD to reduce complexity, complexity and maintain effort. The next one is a dynamic resource scheduling, uh, dynamic resource sharing between the different tenants such as queue. The last gap is the board performance. Most of the intelligent workload required has throughput. For example, we got a requirement to dispatch 8,000 posts per second for Spark drop. As we know, the throughput of the default scheduler is about 100 posts per, uh, per second. Yeah. Here is the overview of Volcano project. Volcano includes several components. For multi-class scenario, we have a federation sub-project in pipeline to balance the results between, between the uh, different uh, uh, cluster. In, in, in each individual cluster, we have introduced uh, several CRDs, such as the job for common batch workload and a queue for resource sharing. And the controller will help to manage the life cycle of these CRDs. The volcano scheduler are built based on the uh, queue batch. Uh, but we introduce uh, more scheduling alg algorithms, and uh, we also do the performance enhancement to the uh, based on the cool batch. Uh, Volcano was open source at uh, 2019, and then we donate donated to CNCF and uh, uh, 2020, and then it was uh, promoted to incub incubator project this year. Currently, there are more than uh, 300 contributors in the community and uh, more than uh, 50 enterprise users adopt Volcano in, the, uh, in their product environment. We are going to have a release every three months and the last, latest release is uh, 1.5. And uh, we already have, uh, there, there is some example of, uh, of uh, users such as uh, we already use uh, a Volcano in, in Huawei cloud uh, in our product environment. And we also work with uh, AWS and some other uh, team to build, uh, uh, to build Volcano in their products. Uh, in batch, 
As we know, in batch systems, there are several concepts which are important to choose a high-level design. The first concept is the uh, is the job. For batch system, it's usually have a common job specification for all kind of workload, such as uh, life science, AI, metadata, and so on. So, in cloud native ecosystem, it's required to introduce um, uh, multiple pod templates and the fine grained fine grained error handling. The second one is about uh, tenants. Traditional batch system introduce a user as tenants and a Kubernetes use a namespace as a tenants, based on my understanding. And to avoid system overload, resource limits is required to the batch system. For for example, the Slurm support job queues, uh, quality of service, and the Kubernetes support quota to uh, control the resource uh, how many resources can be created in the uh, in the system? The last one is uh, queue. Queue is the uh, common concept in the uh, best system, and uh, it is widely used in lots of systems, such as the Slurm, Yarn, RSF. It helps administrator to manage resources in the cluster, and uh, share resources between the different tenants. In addition, some systems also support a different scheduling configuration for each queue. It's also useful feature for the uh, for the users. Uh, in the following slides, uh, we are going to introduce the, the detail of uh, uh, of Volcano. The first section is about job management. In Volcano, we introduce a job CRD with uh, multiple pod templates as a common specification to support all kinds of workload. Currently, we already verified several types of workload in the uh, product environment, such as uh, MPI, TensorFlow, PyTorch, Horrorworld, Spark Flink, uh, Chrome Wheel, and, and lots of other framework. Uh, here is the MPI example, MPI run, and uh, the worker are using different port template with a different uh, command line. <coughs> Volcano also support fine green life cycle management. For example, restart the whole job when when one of task was failed. Volcano we also build the job plugin in Volcano. It help user to do uh, customer customized enhancement for the uh, to the job. For example, SSH plugin is used to con uh, configure the SSH SSH automatically for MPI job, so we don't you, uh, oh, we don't need to add more uh, configuration to uh, for MPI uh, for MPI pod. Uh, SVC plugin is used to create a headless service for communication between the pod uh, in each job. Uh, as we know, queue is a common concept in batch system. It is used to share resources between the different tenants. In Volcano, we follow this practice to make a queue in cluster level. So queue will have to share resources between the tenants, and the quota is considered as a resource limits of tenants. Currently, Volcano support of uh, FIFO uh, priority and a proportion algorithm for the queue, and the and the configuration is. Uh, uh, global for all queue. Yeah, and we are also going to support the config fun, uh, configuration per queue to uh, for user for users. Uh, here is an overall how on how to share resources between queues. Considering considering there are six CPU in the cluster and uh, two queues. Uh, one queue is Q1, the other one is uh, uh, Q2 which are mapping to the two teams. Uh, the weight is uh, two and one accordingly. At the beginning, there are uh, six pods in the Q1, and the Q2 is empty. According to the proportion algorithm, the pod in the Q1 can borrow the results from Q2 to get all pod running, and then submit a job to the Q2. The scheduler will reclaim two CPUs from Q1 based on weight of them, so the new job in Q2 gets two CPU to run.
In addition, we support guaranteed in Q2 reserve results for high priority jobs and support capacity in Q to avoid uh, system overload. Uh, next, okay, okay, next. Uh, the next one is about fair share. Fair share is a common requirement for elastic uh, uh, or streaming job like Spark. However, in Kubernetes, the the more pull submitted, the more possible possibility to get more resources. Uh, this is not fair shared. Kubernetes uh, pro, uh, provides the fair share between the jobs and the namespace. Uh, we can see that from the graph. We can see user one and user two submit a small job and big job to the same queue. The small job may get a start uh, starving without fair share scheduling. We cannot ensure big job and small job gather resu results fairly with the DRF algorithm, but only job fair share is uh, not enough. Suppose one namespace over submit a lot of job to the queue compared to the other namespace, it would possibly uh, occupy the most of the queue results. We add a namespace fair share in Volcano as the graphs show, also namespace three submit more jobs than namespace one, but they get the same results eventually. So this is the uh, important for uh, for a multi-tenant uh, environment. Uh, another one is uh, uh, is about hierarchy queue. Hierarchy is very useful in uh, in lots of scenario. For example, in the uh, button in this button feature, I figure uh, there is a cluster with uh, uh, 10,000 GPUs. Uh, the first level organizations such as the support uh, engineering and marketing department has a static quota, and the results are not allocated to be shared across them to ensure the isolation. But the second level organizations such as the dev and the QA are allowed are allowed to share or pr parameter results in order to get higher utilization. The flight queue is not easy to meet this kind of needs. Several engineers from Baidu are contribute, uh, contributing to this feature in Volcano. With this feature, this will be easy to map the company organization or the company team to the, uh, to the queue. Uh, as we mentioned in the first section, there, uh, there are not, uh, uh, there, there are not enough scheduling policy in Kubernetes for the batch workload. We have been spending uh, lots of time to fill this gap. Here are part of the scheduling policy or uh, algorithm provided in the volcano. Yeah. Uh, so we are going to share uh, to give. Uh, give some introduction about uh, uh, some of them. Yeah. Uh, this one is about elast uh, elastic training. Yeah. Uh, uh, today, um, machine learning workload has higher demand for GPU compared to the traditional uh, workloads. GPU is a, is a is expensive resource. How to improve uh, improve the GPU utilization is a hot topic. and. Uh, and is important. Elastic training can dynamically adjust the number of instances uh, involved in the training, uh, greatly imp uh, improving the uh, utilization of GPU resources. Uh, especially on the public cloud, it can be worked with a uh, uh, spot instance to get a lower cost and improve the training efficiency. Firstly, let's see what Elastic Java is like. The left uh, uh, picture show uh, show a volcano job. The mean available uh, infer the job has five posts at least, and the uh, replica infer infer to the job has uh, uh, ten posts at most. The the job gets running will five posts are, are allocated, and then the job will. Uh, get more posts if there uh, if there are enough GPU resources for them to run. Uh, here is another 
scenario, as you know, the inference uh, service always have a large GPU utilization compared to the uh, training workload. As people tend to co-locate co the inference service with the last training workload to improve the utilization. Uh, in the red, uh, in the red picture, so uh, the inference job, the inference job two with the high priority. Uh, with high profit, we will prompt elastic uh, pod from the training job one uh, to uh, to start to start the mo uh, to to start the the service. Uh, another another feature is about the uh, uh, task top logic, and uh, I will wear the sketching. Uh, this this page is so how the task top logic and I I will wear uh, scheduling help the distribu distributing the training. For some GPU training case, the data exchange between the tasks uh, costs a lot of time and become the bottom line of training. If the time of the data exchange could be reduced, the training performance can be improved. The task top logic, the task top logic would schedule uh, the PS and the worker pods on the same node to reduce the data exchange latency. The PS and the worker pods can be used the host network, which is better than the network across the host. We also have tests with the default scheduler. There are three nodes in the testing cluster, and we submit tra uh, training jobs with uh, two PS and uh, four worker posts. We get three different placements at first. The results are random with the default, default scatter. As we know, the group C is the best practice uh, that we want. With the task top logic scheduling, we are able to get a stable result at the group C. As far as I know, some users are use affinity and anti-affinity feature to achieve this goal. However, the complexity increased the cluster scalability and the, prof the performance is not good enough. We also do some research on the uh, IOWare schedule, which with the task top logic info and the, the IO information, we can mi min min uh, minimize the max data transfer latency and get even better performance. The picture shows the, uh, uh, the training result with the default scheduling, task top logic, and the IOWare scheduling. The IOWare scheduling get 30% uh, uh, performance improvement uh, compared to the default scheduling. The results, anyway, the, the, the results will depend on the data exchange and the uh, and models. Uh, the other one is uh, is about uh, SLA scheduling. In a real product cluster, user often submit multiple kind of workload, such as the small job, big job. How to avoid the big job or small job get starving is a, is a, is a very important for uh, to meet the SLA of the job. In the live picture. In the left picture, at the moment of the time one, T1, user submit a big job, submit a big job, job one with a gun and a small job, job two. The small job get allocated and the big job uh, keep pending due to, in, due to not enough results. As the moment the time two, a new small job, job three was submitted and get allocated. The big job keep pending because uh, there, there's still not enough uh, results. With the time, with time uh, go on, the big job keeps starving. If the release results always uh, cannot satisfy its gone and use the same the small, small drop. The SRA scheduling allow, allow to configure the job so that it is a completed it's uh, completed on the time and reduce the risk of the miss, uh, missing deadline. SLA wait time is the maximum time that one job sub should stay in pending. When SLA wait time reached, 
SLA plug in moon the pending job to the next state and start to reserve results for the job until the job requirement is satisfied. Uh, the next one, uh, the next important feature is about uh, NUMA feature. For com for computing, uh, compute in intensive and performance demand at the job, user would want to consider use exclusive CPU resource, which can reduce the loss by contact switch. For job running on the NUMA based process, it's also better to have the CPU applying to the port on the same. NUMA node which reduce the communication loss and improve the improve the training. Uh, currently, uh, topologic management and CPU management provide a topologic scheduling of the node. So the problem we improved the scheduling the through in the scheduler cannot perform the topologic uh, scheduling. It's not aware of the top, top logic and the CPU allocation on the node. Therefore, the container may be refused by the kubelet because the node resource is less than the top logic uh, uh, minor requirement. Eventually, the scheduling would not be successful. Another problem is all the top logic members working on the kubelet on the node. They cannot choose the best nodes for the job. To address those limits, Limitation. Volcano introduced a new ma aware plugin and a resource exporter components. Volcano offered a pod level topologic policy so that users adopt different uh, topologic policy for their own case. The resource exporter components report the node new ma information by uh, CRD based on the new ma information and the request of the pod. Volcano conduct the scheduling. Uh, the next one is about Spark. Uh, Spark start to pro to support Kubernetes in uh, 2.3 version in uh, 2017. As the later and and then Spark operator provide another way to have run uh, to have running uh, Spark on Kubernetes as well. However, in a long time, Spark on Kubernetes lack of batch scheduling. <coughs> Batch, uh, batch scheduling features. Uh, uh, later of last year, we start to work with the uh, uh, Spark contributor to support customer batch scheduling for Spark. Spark with the uh, uh, Spark with Volcano provides the batch scheduling uh, capability like uh, job priority, queue, fair share, resource. Uh, reservations uh, and so on. It will be released in Spark 3.3 .3 version. Uh, another important uh, feature is about uh, collocation. Multiple server uh, being deployed together has become common in recent years. Online web service and offline analysis service has their different features. Online service requires new resource, but uh, uh, sorry, uh, online service require few resources, but they are very demanding for the latency, such as uh, uh, recommendation and uh, uh, other service. They also expensive traffic every day. Uh, offline analysis service is a computing uh, intensive, require require more resources, but the traffic stays stable, and they don't. Uh, and they don't demand a faster response but like online service. If online service and offline workload can be deployed in a, in a hybrid way, the results can be fully used. Another pain point is the oversubscription and uh, uh, oversubscription of the results. User would like to ensure their scalability. They, so they tend to apply the exclusive results for posts. However, Kubernetes scheduling rely on the stated pod requirement to, uh, in the scheduling. Uh, this leads to high resource allocation rate and low resource usage. Typically, the average cluster CPU resource usage could be less than uh, 15%. This is a huge waste of the resource. 
to resolve this uh, pinpoint, the volcano has done some research, uh, to done some research investigations. For example, based on the monitoring and usage, volcano can perform dynamic scheduling. Additionally, on the uh, Huawei, uh, Huawei uh, operation system, the CPU and the memory resource are isolated for online service and offline service. Moreover, feature like network isolation and inference uh, detection and application profiling will be deployed uh, in the pipeline. Uh, we also did several enhancements to our uh, uh, throughput. As, as the moment of data uh, continue to grow and the complexity of the business increased, user require a Kubernetes cluster to support larger scale. We also spend a lot of effort to support uh, 10,000 nodes and uh, 100 million clusters, uh, pods, by optimizing the container network, scheduling container engine, and so on. Uh, the right, uh, in the red part, list some, uh, in the right, uh, it lists some spe uh, specific of, uh, enhancement in our project. Task scheduling, uh, take scheduler for the example. We improve the scheduling throughput to uh, one point, uh, one, 1 thousand pods per second by adopt equivalent cache batch bonding uh, and, uh, and seek bonding. And uh, uh, they also depends on the uh, uh, some enhancement to the uh, Kubernetes, uh, to the Kube API server, yeah. Uh, here is uh, some user case uh, from, uh, uh, from the volcano. Uh, Xiongshu is uh, one of top social media and uh, uh, e-commerce uh, company in China. Many people use their uh, applications in mobile, uh, they have 100 million active users per month. And the main workload they are running to uh, provide a recommendation for the end user. They need to refresh the model every uh, several minutes. And also they have some online service to do uh, reaction when user refresh their, uh, their nodes. The challenge is they have a large cluster with nearly uh, 1,000 nodes. And the model have one, 100 billion uh, parameters. One job have hundreds of uh, PS and uh, worker posts. Actually, they want to best the resource allocation. The user adopts the, the task, uh, topological scheduling, and uh, uh, we have 20% uh, performance improvement. They also use the volcano SRA based, uh, based scheduling to prevent uh, large to prevent large drops from the starvation. Yeah. Another uh, another user case is the uh, Tian uh, from uh, Rui Tian company. The, they initially use a yarn to schedule batch drop. As the company grew, the, the environment of policy also changed. Different research team require container deployment to avoid the environment complication and the dependency. Uh, however, the Kubernetes default scheduler like fair share scheduling uh, between the different uh, ten tenants. So they have the requirement, and they also have the requirement of using different frameworks such as uh, TensorFlow, PyTorch, and uh, MPI. Uh, that's required to install a different kind of operator in Kubernetes, uh, which uh, which will have lots of uh, maintenance effort. The user looking for the solution, and uh, they found that uh, Volcano can satisfy the requirement and offer diversity scheduling uh, capability, and uh, uh, they use the Volcano job as a unify uh, as a common job specification for all kind of AI, work, uh, AI training workload. Eventually, they decide to migrate from the YARN to Kubernetes uh, with Volcano. For currently, uh, 
there are about uh, uh, 300 uh, 300,000 pods uh, every day uh, in their product environment for this for this user yeah uh, for the public adoptions we uh, we do get a lot of user adoption especially for the people are running in uh, running the AI big data uh, uh, live sentence sentence transcoding workload on Kubernetes. Here are part of adopter using Volcano in product environment. From the code diversity in, recent, in recently, we can find that we got a good diversity in community de uh, development. Uh, here is the release journey of Volcano. We have released more than uh, 16 major version since the uh, uh, since the way uh, the project start at the early stage we developed a set of scheduling policy to support batch workload then integrated with the ecosystem such as the kubernetes uh, sorry with the kubeflow and the spark operators uh, and argo and so on later we found that there are lots of gaps on the job on the job management so we support quite a lot of time to enhance the job management to, uh, to upstream. In the future, we are going to support several scenarios like uh, uh, such as uh, multi-cluster scheduling uh, and uh, performance enhancement and uh, uh, intelligent collocation for, uh, for better resource utilization. Uh, here are some uh, useful links uh, in the Volcano uh, community. You you're welcome to draw on community community and give uh, give give some feedback. Uh, thank you for the. Uh, okay, that's uh, uh, that's all for me. And thank you very much. And welcome to join our community.